motion and its limits. The primary theory of motion that he professes is that the natural state of the object is at rest. That notion held in 350 BC to approximately 16 hours when Galileo reasoned creatively. He discovered after much scientific devotion that a moving object tends to stay in motion. Likewise, how one stop won't stay in that position, and that Aristotle's object tendency was really friction. the modern way of scientific thought came another man who questioned what he was taught and on came another progeny of human imagination newton's law of universal gravitation royal formulated gas laws in the 17th century duration you can challenge the theory of light in his day when in 1690 he said it's composed of waves newly the first mathematical physicist anticipated the kinetic theory of gases a century before Dalton invented it. I'll be representing for the physicists all across the ages, flipping through my physics book pages, taking time to measure light speed, and I still got love for the P, P-H-Y-S-I-C-S. -S. Faraday invented the concept of the field to explain how magnets yield electric generation. Maxwell continued discovering electromagnetic radiation. J.J. Thompson, with his physics ability, refuted the notion of an atom's indivisibility. In experimenting with a cathode ray, he supposed that atoms from electrons are composed, thus shattering the notion of matter, what it is and what it isn't, and on came the birth of modern physics. With the discovery of radiation and x-rays, the classical view failed to explain how a positive nucleus surrounded by electrons stays. Then the conflict presented by Michelson and Mori, the ether concept explained poorly, but in came Einstein's brilliant mind and with Minkowski altered our notion of space-time with ideas that are difficult for most to grasp, like the speed of light is the limiting speed of all things with mass. I'd be representing the physicists all across the ages, looking through my physics book pages, taking time to measure light speed, and I still got love for the P, P-H-Y-S-I-C-S. -S. Then Bohr, using Planck's quantum theory, proved Rutherford's nuclear atom, clearly, so on we move to the age of quantum physics. Lawrence invented the cyclotron to accelerate particles reproduce radioactive things by means artificial. Meitner discovered nuclear disintegration. She named it fission and gave it its physical explanation. Fermi, Oppenheimer, and Seaboard made the hydrogen bomb, all that and even more. The antiproton was discovered in 1955, then came quartz, of which we found six types. Transistors were also invented by physicists. Same with the laser, whose implications are limitless. I mean, represent for the physicists all across the ages. Flipping through my physics book pages. Taking time to measure light speed, because I still got love for the P. P-H-Y-S-I-C-S. Today, one may ask, where is physics to go? I answer, any place you take it. Is there a fourth fundamental force, gravitation? Nowadays, with gluons and tau neutrinos, ask yourself, who will experiment if we don't? We are the chosen ones, we hold the mic. This is now your song. This is your verse to write. I would represent for the physicists all across the ages. Flipping through my physics book pages, taking time to measure light speed, and I'm still down with the P. P H Y S I C.